you guys so like i always say make sure you pick the hair out or lay the hair down before you start cutting all right what this does is it lifts the hair off the scalp making it easier for the hair to feed into the teeth of the blade but in this case i'm picking up the hair that way it's stretched out to its maximum potential that way when i shape it it could all be even so my client wants a low fade with a fro on top basically a curl sponge so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna debulk the sides using my stylecraft instinct with the one guard with the lever open all right i'm scooping out just trying to get that bulk out from the side so i can put in my guidelines <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the shape because I scooped out with that one guard. I'm going to go right where I scooped out with the style craft with the lever fully closed and I'm going to build that shape into the afro. I'm going to continue to shape the rest of the top um, making sure I start from the bottom all the way to the top all right that gives you a better uh, range of circular motion when you start from the bottom to the top So with my curved shears, I'm going to make sure that everything is symmetrical and round. By using these shears, it's basically just detailing your work up top. So before I go in and start setting my guidelines, I'm going to make sure I brush all around the hair. That way everything is neatly laid down. So now that everything is laid down, I'm going to set in my bald line using my Babyliss FX trimmers. All right. Notice how I'm setting in my bald line. I'm basically going upward. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to set in a harsh guideline because I'm working with a small area. All right. The, the blend is going to be real tight. So you don't want to set it in and be forced to take this blend higher because you set the bald line in so harsh. So make sure that you go upward because you're not really taking that much off anyway. Next, I'm using my Stylecraft Instincts with the lever open, basically using my corners and my corners only uh, just to build that shape initially. Um, I'm going up about a half inch, making sure I go over that guideline multiple times to ensure it's at that length. Now 
Now, just because I use the one guard to debulk doesn't mean that I don't still go in with my one guard with the lever open and set in my guideline. So I'm going with the one guard open, setting in my guideline, basically scooping out the same thing I did to debulk um, so that I can reshape it into that afro. It's all about setting a visual at first though, right? So I'm basically giving myself something to visualize before I set my guidelines in. So like I said, basically I'm just gonna reshape with the lever closed and basically just kind of reshape that afro part um, to get it to run smoothly into the top. So now I'm gonna work on blending down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soften that middle line with the lever closed using my one guard. Now that I softened it up, it's a lot easier for you to take it out with the zero guard with the lever fully closed, all right? In a flick out motion, I'm just starting below the line, flicking to the line, all right? And if I need to go up any more, I'm gonna adjust my lever as I go up. So if you run in with issues where um, that zero guard closed just couldn't get out that middle line, all I do is with the lever open, I just kind of detail that area that way I can, you know, make that transition a lot more smoother. Now, what I'm gonna do is with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, I'm gonna flick out that bottom line using basically my corners, all right? Now, as a beginner, I wouldn't suggest this. What I would suggest is close the lever halfway, soften that bottom line, and then flick out, you know, with the lever fully closed. Um, just be on the safe side. But for me, I just went ahead and just adjust my lever every time, you know, I go up. giving it that real uh you know microphone shape in the front i want to go for more like of a high top you know shape but not too high top ish right so i'm gonna make basically uh make it to where it's running smoothly into the top uh but i don't want um that that microphone shape because i want to set it in a crispy line
client wants a curl sponge on top so i'm gonna go in small circular motions um it's gonna take a minute to curl up because you know his hair isn't used to being curled like this so make sure you go over it for a good five minutes just small circular motions Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like God did. You too. This is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production. That's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, link to be in the description below.